All right, hey guys. Um, I have something really cool to show you. Uh, I've been working on it almost all day. It took me. I'll tell you, hon. Um, but I, I'm gonna do a feeding video probably later today if they eat. Um, hopefully the cinnamon will eat now. Um, so yeah. I only have two snakes, and I think the cinnamon is going to be sold by tomorrow. Uh, I think somebody's going to come pick them up. I'm not 100% sure, but this is what I want to show you guys. I'm, I'm so happy. Um, this is 100% not free, but I made it out of stuff I already had. It's it's a new rack. Um, it holds about it holds six tubs, six 15 quart tubs. Um, to show you, I will put this down here. And they can fit with the lid, um, but as you can see here, there's about a quarter, maybe a half an inch, if that, um, that will take it up. And this, I made this all out of the extra stuff I had from this. And I didn't even think it would turn out this good. <clears throat> it's pretty stable, um, considering it doesn't have a back. Um, I didn't put the back on it just because um, I didn't have, or I had enough supplies for it. I gotta fix this. I actually did order some heat tape for this. Um, it should be coming in pretty soon. Um, within the next couple of days, I say five days, because I only got ground shipping. But, and also a cool thing, is this is what I'm planning to do. Okay. I'm gonna have four 15 quart tubs here. One here, one here, one here, one here. Then the bottom. I will have a 28 quart tub, and that's what's going to be my my breeder colony, I guess you can say. And I'm going to have one male, which is my my sunglo, which he's usually in this, but I moved him into here because what I'm going to do is I'm going to have like every four days I'm going to keep them together in four days, and then uh, after the third after the fourth day I put them back, let them rest, do all that um, until she I know she's like 100% gravid, but. Uh, I was reading you guys the comments, and I thank you all for commenting, saying like what I should look for and stuff. Um, let me turn this light on. Yeah, it might brighten it up a little bit. Um, yeah, there you guys are telling me like what I should look for, and she does have this tiny like white dot on her. Um, she does have a pink dot as well, but I mean I'm just gonna like pair them up, and then when I know she has eggs and she lays them, then um, after that. They ovulate again, and then I would I would know what I'm looking for because, or I'd look for that, and then once I know that that's what it is, and I know what it looks like, then I can become more comfortable with it. And after probably the end of this breeding season, I'll, I'll know what it looks like in almost every leopard gecko or every female I'm going to get. Um, so I think the new additions I'm going to be adding is a tangerine female and a max snow female. Might not do the max snow, might just get another sun glow. Um, the tangerine because. Um, I'm going to be getting get some tangerines, het albino, and get some caratels, and I'm going to keep the best looking, I'm going to get a nice looking tangerine, <clears throat> I'm going to breed it um, to my sun globe male, and to produce, I think it was 75% tangerines, or 75% hypos, 100% het for tangerine, and then 25% um, normals, 100% het for tangerine, er, Alright, sorry guys, I'm trying to think this. Um, it's 75% hypo het for Tremper albino, then 25% um, normal het for 100% het for Tremper albino. Um, and they, they were all, almost all of them will have the tangerine influence, the, like the tangerine color, <clears throat> because that, I think it's a trait that it has, you have to line breed it to get, to get it, and like, um, the, all the offspring will have a better, or most of the offspring, I should say, will have better coloring than the male and female. So it's like, it's a mix between those two, and then it comes out better, so. Yeah. And I'm, I'm thinking about just keeping this rack as sort of like a stand, but then again, I can just, just get like, a, a stand. But, I mean, I can't, I might be able to put like a big breeder colony, like one to like five females in here. Um, which might actually work out pretty well. Um. But for right now, it's just going to chill on here. I did mess up a few things. Um, like right there. Uh, I was sawing. We have a um, power saw. And I was cutting it. And then it, it started to fall. And it was about to hit my foot. And I went like that. And I messed it up. But. And also. 
some of the measurements got off a little bit because the board was actually warped not from the weather but it was actually cut different from Home Depot so we just had to do that so I mean it's not the best but I mean I mean it's good it works there's barely any wobble um, and if it does I can just put it back on it and it's fine um, so yeah it sticks out a little bit it's it's perfect I mean it, and then I'm gonna have three inch heat tape running along the back of each one I just ordered it so I mean tell me what you guys think if I should I think I might not do the lids I mean you have to have a lid on this one on this but you won't need a lid for these because they already fit so yeah it actually worked out really good I didn't think it would turn out this good because it was just it was just pieces I found laying around I had to cut them though I had to cut them to size and I'll give you guys measurements um, for right now this is 24 inches these long with 24 depth is 17 this one's actually 15 and it actually fits fine um, because they didn't have 17 but this is 15 so, I mean still the tubs fit actually better than with the 17 so I'd go about 16 um, if you're building one and then same thing with this this is 17 um, deep 24 long these I actually was going to think about cutting these like this and placing them here and then here and then I was like wait why, why would you make that extra cut so we just um, took the thing itself and I think this is this is 12 no this is 14 14 by 17 on both sides so yeah I've been working on that got my I got sunburned but yeah, and if it fits good, you still can have that. Um, yeah, I'm really excited though. Uh, especially this, and this would definitely help expand my leopard gecko stuff. Um, hopefully, I can get just like a, a stand I can put them on, like something like this. But yeah, now, I cleaned up a little bit, not a lot. I took all the garbage out. Um, I still got to get rid of those as soon as I get my heat tape. I'm getting rid of everything. As soon as I get my heat tape for this, I have my heat tape for that rack. But yeah, so these are all homemade. This one actually turned out really bad. So I was like, dang, this one's not going to be out that bad. But it definitely did better. I think because I use nails for this one and don't use nails, use screws. Screws is 100% easier. What we did is we took a um, like a bit, a drill bit, and then you what you do is you screw it in about like to where it starts making a hole in this one and then you take the screw and you just screw it straight in and it, it works out really good there's no cracks that I can see like it doesn't crack like right here see how this is cracked really bad it didn't do that like you can see little like hold on let's see if I can find one like right there you can see there's a little line I mean you can barely see it but there's a little tiny line right there and that's it that's the worst crack I've gotten um so yeah this is really good really liking it so yeah I'm so excited and hopefully and now I got this for free so I'm saving 50 bucks um, thir it was 30 bucks for the heat tape and so then I'll have about $150 left over and yeah so 100, I'll have 150 bucks might get a tangerine I'm thinking about just getting an incubator um, might get a max now. I mean, if I can find a gecko that will is like cheap enough, I'm probably just gonna get that. Um, <clears throat> but it has to be good looking because I don't, I don't want to get a bad looking um, sun glow, you know, to breed to these guys. And see, stick sliding not good. I'm, I'm I might not not um, keep the lids because I mean, if you can see, I mean, it's about. Uh, maybe a half, uh, probably quarter inch. So, yeah, what you do if you want to have this, um, what I, what you can do is you can just keep the lid on them, and then just put this on top of the, the actual thing, and, um, and then it'll come out fine. Or you can just take this and put a piece of cardboard over it. That's what I did. I actually took this and a piece of card. I took this and a piece of cardboard and did that. But I don't know. And I have a 28 quart tub of my snake here. This guy, I'll show you. Ugh, 
Sorry, dude. Yeah, you're gonna be fed today. So you should be in a good mood. And as you can see, now this, I will have to keep a lid on because these are actually shorter tubs and this is like an inch. So this is definitely too big. Um, <coughs> I will have to keep a tub for a lid and I have a lid right there. So yeah, definitely looking forward to that. So, yeah, just a small bit. And I'm sorry you didn't make a video about the actual process. It's just like, I'm the type of person when I start something, I can't like be distracted. I have to like get it done. Um, I should have taken some pictures, but yeah, I mean, it's really pretty, pretty self-explanatory. There's a lot of videos about how to do them by yourself. So, um, I suggest you have at least two people or like you and somebody else helping you. Um, because that actually helps and yeah so I'm I'm happy because it was it was a free, it's a free rack it took about an hour and a half to make and yeah so I'm so excited so yeah guys sorry for the long video um, subscribe comment rate like the video do whatever you don't have to I just say that because everyone else does but anyways yeah, yeah guys see ya